Ladies and gentlemen, man. This might be his last time here. Okay. Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, it was a good run. He's been on the show uh, quite a few times. We we seen him when he first started, and then we saw him uh, perform and uh, do some great things. Not only just here on the on the local level, but boom, on the national stage and on the the TV sets of all across America. But he's got a new hit single out. Dude, I was rocking out to it. Not only just uh, the other day when you sent it. Yeah. Okay, but. On the way in here, I picked up Bay, right? Yeah. I'm like, Bay, hey, check this out. <laughs> Bay, listen to this. It's called that's, Better Man, huh? That's awesome. Yes. How you doing, man. man? I'm doing good. I'm I'm tired, but loving every moment of being tired. Yeah. Well, you got to be tired because uh, I'm watching you on social media and you're blowing up on there. Your Instagram. Look at you go on Instagram, bro. What is he? I don't even know. Look at you go. All I'm doing is just posting. With your 10,000 plus followers. All I'm doing, all I'm doing is posting. <laughs> Good for you. Lord have mercy. Swipe up. That's all I need. I can't break that 5,000 mark on Instagram. Honestly, ma'am, what a hump. What you, a hump to get over. You know what the problem on Instagram for me is? What? So I decided to stop posting like shirtless pictures. Okay? Why? And then I just plateaued. Why did you, why'd you just stop? Because my mom started following me. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Okay. Oh. We're going to be honest here. All right. Uh, but, hey, I'll tell you what. Speaking of social media, if uh, if you're listening, okay, the iHeartRadio, how are you out there, okay? And, uh, hey, uh, don't, don't forget to hit that follow button on the Joe Padula Show with iHeartRadio, all right? Stay up to date with everything that we, we got going on. Plus, if you want to see... What the heck is going on inside this studio? Just go to the Joe Padula Show Facebook page. Look for that blue check. That's the real Joe Padula, not that fake account. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah I know. There, yeah. Fake yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, fake Joe Padula. <laughs> seriously? Mm -hmm. Faux Padula? Yeah. Same thing on Twitter, too. They made a fake Joe Padula account. Hey, but they you, just want to be you. You know what? It's all good. It's all good. But make sure to share this on your timeline, all right? We got an issue right now with uh, Facebook with the shadow banning. And uh, it's all right. Hey, you know, I got some political views that uh, that I back up with some facts, but um, some people that moderate this uh, this channel doesn't care for it. But that's okay. We need your help. Hit those likes. Hit those hearts. Hey, hit those angry faces like my mom does. Hit those angry faces. <laughs> and share it on your timeline and in your groups, okay? Uh, we, we will uh, get into uh, John Mullins. Dot com in just a moment with the new release, the new single. But uh, real quick, let's give a, a shout out to our our, uh, our guest on deck, ladies and gentlemen. There he is, John Lockwood. What's yes. up, John? How you doing? How you doing? It's great to Woo! see you. Oh, look at that! He's got so much energy. His camera is glitching. Do you see that? Again. Where's intern Shane? <laughs> I got no intern Shane today. Uh, plus, also we got uh, we got Matt who's going to be hanging out with us in a little bit too. He's uh, let me tell you, when it comes to uh, audiovisual and uh, and broadcasting, this guy is legit, and he's a Jersey boy. Fist bump, Jersey, Jersey. Well, let's do it, okay? Let's go right. Oh, there's Bay. Bay, how's it going? I need internship. Hey, Bay. Here. I need him. <laughs> I need him. All right. So where, where, where's our guest? Oh, there he is. There he is. <sighs> John Mullins. Oh my! <laughs> One of my favorites. Speeding down a country road. Man, bro. Hey, what a journey so far you've been what on. What a crazy journey. Crazy journey. Um, before we get into uh, the the song Better Man and the video, can we play the video or you or you just want the audio? I'd be glad for you. To play yeah, it. you're okay with us playing the of video? Course. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I love the video. I'm a big fan. Brandon yeah. Kaywood killed it. Yeah. He's an incredible videographer. Well. Out of Georgia. Out of Georgia. I do the clay. What? It's my, it's my Georgia impression. That was a really that's, interesting that, Georgia that's impression. That's Hollywood. Uh, that oh, was oh, so oh, that's Hollywood, Georgia? Yeah. I do the clay. Uh, oh, you're talking about from Mannequin? Is oh, that from Mannequin? Yeah, oh, remember Mannequin from the 80s? Hollywood? That Hollywood. sounded like something Hollywood would say. Oh. Sorry, moving on. Hollywood. Okay. I'm just messing everything up. Yeah. I loved him on uh, Designing Women, that oh, guy. <laughs> Why do I know this crap? <laughs> uh, but uh, but John, uh, let's see. Uh, you, uh, I mean, you, you've always been uh, just a real quick back brief on your history. Yeah. Uh, Tennessee guy, right? Uh, where, where are you from originally? Originally from Philly. Right. And then moved down to Florida, rested, planted my roots in Virginia. Virginia, y'all. And then I've, I've spent since 2005 in Tennessee. So, yeah. Right, okay. right. And why, why do the move over here? Why, why come uh, to the music? College. 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 
Then after that, I came to Nashville for a, a writing development thing. So uh, you went to in college, Tennessee Temple University, and oh, tiny little university for vocal perform for opera performance. Yeah, so you, opera trained opera back, uh, background. Yeah. Now, now, was your intention to become like an opera singer? No. No. So opera's like ballet. Uh, it's a base for all learning. Like if you're learning uh, how to use your voice, it's opera because it's like the best technique and most all-around steady technique, just like a ballet. If you want to learn any other dances, you probably should learn ballet first as to get your foundation. Interesting. So, yeah. So after college, okay, yeah. uh, is that when you, you, you met your wife? Is that why you stuck around here? No, I met, I met Whitney in uh, 2007 at college. We both lived in Lynchburg, Virginia, Sarasota, Florida, and Chattanooga, Tennessee at the same times. We finally met in the third city. Wait, so when you were in Virginia and Florida, you, you didn't know who she was? No. Even though she was living in the same town? Same town. At the same time? Yep. That's crazy. And we met in the third city. Is that divine? Yeah, it is divine intervention. Right? I'll tell you that. Now, you, you do write a lot of your songs uh, regarding mm -hmm. r your wife, right? Yeah. She's the inspiration for a lot of them, yeah. And uh, including this one, uh, Better Man. And, and again, johnmullins.com. Check out the website. Uh, all the links to, to uh, the, the YouTube videos, okay? The Instagram account, the Facebook page. <laughs> the Facebook page, too. Look at you with your Facebook followers. Look at this. Good for you with your two, 22... 23,840 people following you on Facebook alone. Seriously? Yeah. You don't look at these, huh? I just, here's the deal. I, I see that there's followers on there, but I mean, I, what I what I love is, is being able to keep in touch with everybody. I like just to post content and see the interaction and see the likes and comments and go live and that type of stuff. I thrive off of that. Every once in a while, I'll see the numbers, but they surprise me. A lot. Well, I, I, and I don't want to harp on it because we're, we're we're past the uh, uh, the voice, okay? Because yeah. I, but I loved your appearance on the voice. Your appearance Thank is you. on the voice. I loved I loved it so much. I mean, you're the only guy ever on that show to get a hug from Blake Shelton. <laughs> Seriously? Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm I don't know do that my, I was the only guy, I, but I you. will tell you what. He gave me two hugs that day, and it's, he said it was the best day of his coaching career on the Voice, and. A lot of really good things happen. I don't know. Of course, I, I really tried to do my research and Googling and YouTubing <laughs> and trying to find Blake Shelton. Research Blake Shelton hug. Getting out of his chair to embrace and go hug a performer right after their performance. It was crazy. Uh, I mean, unreal. Unreal. Uh, did he smell like Gwen Stefani at all? He's... <laughs> <laughs> no, he just smelled super clean. Yeah. Well, it's all. Smell like <laughs> Maybe Gwen Stefani smells super clean. You know yeah. what? Maybe Gwen Stefani smells like Blake Shelton. Maybe. Oh, oh I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my girl. It's my future wife. My girl. My girl. Listen to that voice. But uh, but boom, and then you, you start taking off. Uh, I mean, that's when I really started uh, uh, watching your social media take off. Not not that I stalk you or anything, but <laughs> no, that's what kind of lit the fire. Yeah, yeah. That's so there was a little spark. Yeah. Uh, what they. What, the thing about the voice is it's a it's an incredible step. Yeah. On a path. It's sure. an incredible step on a journey and where whereas there's steps are all different sizes, uh maybe maybe the voice is just a little bit of a larger step. Um but it's something to help propel. It's a good spark to Agreed. create a fire, but it honestly created a fire underneath of me. Right. And it's like, you know what? Let's do something. Then I get home and there's COVID, so moving on. Right. And uh <laughs> which, which leads to here it is, okay? Cuz boom, the last time you were on the show was March 20th. All really? Right. Mm -hmm. March okay. 20th, 2020. Okay. And and I was listening to the former episode of our interview and everything. And then when we were discussing news, this was w when COVID was yeah. really started to become story after story after really? story. Yeah. Right. So the mm -hmm. shutdown. So here it is. You're a live music. You're a musician. Events are all closed. Your, your business is shut down. Yeah. What do you do? How do you survive? Well, so I was lucky. I'm, I'm lucky to have a wife who is a successful entrepreneur. Secondly, as a musician, um, I had actually saved like a good amount of money in a music account to prepare for something like this or to prepare for um, maybe if there was a hiatus or something like that, especially with the voice, because you never uh, I can't talk too much about it. But with the voice, like you just you're gone for, you know, extended periods of time. And sometimes yeah. those sometimes those happen within a week, no, with a week's notice. So. You know, we had a little bit, you know, we had, we had basically a fund set up for that and a fund set up for a better man release and everything like that. So, 
super thankful. So the song Better Man was in the works at this time. The Better Man was in the works since last January. Oh my god. Yeah. January so, of 2019. 19. And so, uh, you know, it just recently became what it was with mixing and everything like that. But I will tell you what, Joe, it has been quite the journey getting this song finished and the, the video and everything like that. And like the span of time and the voice in between all of it. It's been incredible. Right. It's been a really cool journey. Now, uh, have, have you been able to perform? I, I noticed a lot of the performers during this uh, shutdown doing a lot of household performances. Yeah, so I, I went maybe a, a week or two just, you know, going live in the house yeah. and doing those types of things and live um, because I was really lacking. I really wanted that interaction with all of our, with, yeah. with my, my, my family, my 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 page family you know what i mean like the people who follow my music did you call music. them your family my f oh my gosh i, I love should. that my family your family family that's a tough um, one to say though no it's you don't you don't want to call you know fans is a is a cool term you know whatever like, yeah. but but when it comes down to it these people are supporting you these people are part of um, part of your family <laughs> and they you know so that's the support that they they give is is crucial and so being able to connect with them and go live and everything like that but I will tell you what things started happening with better man um, like getting ready for that um, a couple really fun things happen that are coming up in the future um, things that got me so busy that I wasn't able to go live as much and so uh, I've missed it I'm excited to do it some more good um, but I've seen a lot of people uh, going live I want you on the stage it, see I, I don't care for the people performing in the in their basements it's, it's interesting it feels it feels uh, they don't sound as good, to be honest. I put I put some of my effort into doing like those side by side duet videos. Yeah, yeah. I put a lot of effort into that actually, and so you know, preparing new content maybe with not being live, um, but the live is cool. But I've got two shows in Memphis coming up this weekend. Good for you. So good for you. Yes. Yeah, so please plug those shows if you don't mind. Yeah. So two shows at the Tin Roof Bar in Memphis, um, on Beale Street, uh, Friday night from a uh, six to ten. Saturday night from six to ten. I will be playing from 8 to 10 each night, but I'll have Ryan Clark with me though, uh, those two nights. He'll be playing 6 to 8. I'll play 8 to 10. Ryan Clark's an incredible artist as well, so it's going to be a blast. Are you uh, nervous about performing no. a live? Me no. neither. I'm not perform. I'm me not neither. nervous. I'm excited. Yeah, good. I will tell you. I will tell you. There are, there are times like on well, the voice and everything like that. I was super nervous, like uh, not not quite trusting what I can do and or trusting my voice and trusting what I've worked on. Why the doubt? But, um. Was it a, a lack of faith in your in your? No, it's, it's the pressure. It was the pressure. Stop, <laughs> Joe. Joe. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Try to uh, start the pot. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get another. You're gonna get another email. Bay, our first hate mail on the show came in 2014 when John was on the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the, the Dark Lord reference was made. And hey, but Jesus Christ is my Lord and personal Savior, and I have no hesitation saying that. And uh, He is my Maker and Creator. But uh, we made one Dark Lord joke, and oh, all hell was, went loose was, with the emails. There was something. They called the station. <laughs> Did they call? They called oh, the station. I thought you got an email or something. I, like that. Yeah, oh, I got, okay, the email. got the email. They called, called the station. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, well, yeah, it was, that was an interesting, an interesting situation. I think also that was when it was like super snowy, and we had to travel up here in the snow. Uh -huh. Wasn't that it? It was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, Speaking of the haters, uh, there's got to be a couple haters out there, right? Any, anyone that wasn't very supportive of you? And you don't have to get, call him up by name. No, I, I'm going to be honest when I tell you I. I don't. I don't think I ran into anybody who was just like, nah, like. Why is it we get all the haters? I'm <laughs> really sorry. I have. I literally have the best family. Um, they are. They're incredible. They're so supportive. Yeah. They're so great. Um, and uh, even. Even with the different rounds through the voice and everything like that, there's nothing but love. Yeah, and it's been it's been so uplifting. It's been so incredible. And with the new, uh, you know what? I was doing an interview today. Uh -huh. I was doing an interview today with uh, her name is Lily Brooks O'Brien. She is an incredible actress. She's single. Uh, she's on a she's she's 13. Oh, and she's <laughs> she's an incredible actress. Start off she's with on that. the she's on a Netflix uh, series called the the Big Big Show. I think Big Show Show. 
something the big show show and um she uh i met her out in california she wanted to inter- interview me very cool and so we did an interview and she was like can you sing part of the song and i was like yeah sure somebody says shut your mouth you sing like a whale and oh i was like God. wait to you <laughs> <laughs> because i guess because i was like ah. uh-huh. and i was like that is freaking hilarious people like i think people started like hating on that person oh, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. three minutes later they're like just kidding. Yes. So I have that one hater. Yeah. But, but yeah, everybody's everybody's gonna have some type of opposing whatever. Uh, but I will tell you what I keep my eyes on is the positivity, and what I thrive on is the positivity. Um, if you don't, you're just gonna spiral. Right. And so, man, any bad habits picked up along the way? <sighs> Smoking. Did you? Yeah. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say I got cigars. We'll do cigars. <laughs> Oh, no, you can't smoke. No, no, not I can't. The, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not Have you gonna. ever been tempted? No. What What about alcohol? You, I mean, you're not I've a big drinker. Drank. Yeah. Drank. Yeah. So like, it's never not, been tempted. No, it's it's not even that. I, it's just not a thing for me. I don't know. Like, uh, you know, I, I hardcore drugs. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. not since the accident. Good. Oh my god. Just kidding. <laughs> I love it. No, I mean, I'm just, I'm, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't even know. I, I stick to. I guess I guess the one bad habit, honestly, mm-hmm. would, would sometimes be uh, self doubt. And I know that you're like, oh, you're trying to be too vanilla with that, but literally, self doubt is probably one of my worst bad habits. Um, Where do you think it comes from? Back in the day, um, as a kid? I think it comes from who bullied you? Nobody. No, okay. no joke. I loved school. I Good loved for everything. you. I go man. back to high school now if I could. But um, usually, people who didn't get bullied were the bullies. Just saying. Just kidding. Not true. Not true. He's not <laughs> no, the bully. no, he's not the bully. Um, no, I, I would tell you, I, uh, I don't really know where it comes from, and I, I feel like there are just, there's sometimes that small little voice that's just like, what you're doing is not good enough, or, you know, what if this doesn't, blah blah blah. There's so many what ifs, and I, I want to make sure that every duck is in a row, just for this video, for this song. Well, that's what for I'm saying. Everything. The, the song, the lyrics itself, it's about. You having doubt and, and, and screwing up and and asking her yeah. just to, hey, I, I'm working on it. Yeah. You know, give me time. Yeah. Give me patience. Learning how to – relearning how to communicate and so many different things. It was a – these last four years have been crazy, Joe. And you you know about – Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're about to play the video here, okay? Oh, yeah. And uh, you can get it uh, – you can check it out on YouTube, okay? Uh, okay. JohnMullins.com, okay? Go Joe Wynn. Go to the website. Yeah, no, no H. Never. No H. No need for those H's. But, um, but what are some of the lyrics that we should be looking for when you uh, when the we first play this? line? It's only human nature just to give up on somebody that you don't understand. Like, even today, even in today's age, with different sides of different spectrums, whether it be political or whether it be religious, whether it be anything like that i'm not going to be here taking a religious or any or i'm not going to be here taking a political stance or anything but do it we do we all spend so much time hating on people that don't share the same views as us right that we don't concentrate on enough making a difference Understood. Or, or being so so incredibly cl- kind or making the actual change that that sometimes we just we just give up we just give up on trying to trying to befriend people who have different opinions than us. Well, I agree with you, and, and especially I'm never going to change my point of view or my opinion if someone's being a jerk to me. Yeah. You know? And but it, you it, listen that, if they aren't. And well, that's going to be yeah. vice versa. Yeah. You know, if I want to convert anyone to, to my train of thought, yeah. you know, I got I to gotta talk to them. I got to yeah. conversate with them. And so... This, I mean, that that whole like love everybody, just you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's only in human nature to just give up on somebody that you don't understand. And uh, the, oh, uh, we'll dive in. Are we diving into the story behind this song a mm-hmm. little bit later? Okay. Yeah, um, we're gonna play the video and then we're gonna dive. We'll into talk. It. Let's let's talk about that because honestly, the whole song, it's it's the lyrics, every single thing. Every every single verse, even into the bridge, it's just me opening up my heart about the whole entire situation. Okay. So I hope you guys like it. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to uh, get Better Man by uh, by John Mullins, and uh, and here we go. I believe this is it. <laughs> we'll find out. This better be the video. <laughs> There's no intern Shane today. I'm all alone. Shane. 
Oh, that's the song. I need the video. Oh, shucks. Sorry for the uh, lack of professionalism. Not really, actually, but... Okay, good, good. Oh, that's the video. Okay. Oh, I'm just now seeing these comments while you're pulling up that video. Yeah. So <laughs> I have some I have some of my fandom Oh yeah, how's your here? Fa- yeah, yeah. And uh, that time. They're like, what is uh what is what you said what are some of your bad habits? And somebody said Starbucks. Oh. Starbucks is your bad habit. Is is that true? Yeah. Whitney and mine bad ha- we we have way too much Starbucks. Whitney says Joe, Whitney says hi. What's up, Whitney? How you doing? Um, people, what's up, Carrie? Hi, Susan. Wes Foster says, Hey, take a stand. Take a stand. Hi, Jen. Wes Foster. Love you, Susan. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Super excited for you and Whitney. Love you, Ashley. Why? What's uh? What are you super excited for them? Um, she said, uh, super excited for you and Whitney. Couldn't, oh, oh, couldn't happen to a better man. I see what you did there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's try this again. Here we go. John Mullins. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need interchange. <laughs> All right, let me get you on the big screen there. Boom. And absolutely. See, right now, Matt's like, you amateur. Mm-hmm. He's not in his amateur. Mm-hmm. It's like an amateur. <laughs> All right, here we go. Better man. John, I'm going to need you to stall a little is bit that, more. Is that downloaded? No. That's a problem. Oh, wait, you need to download it. Yeah. I'm down also, right let's talk about some people. Okay. Stephen Hux, what's awesome? How's Steve it going? Hux. Steven, Joe Padula, can't imagine you being unprofessional, Frank Baker said. Oh, Ooh, yes. Well, <laughs> I, 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 hey, I've been doing pretty good today, right? <laughs> yep. Not Megan, bad. Megan, what is up? How are you? Uh, thank you guys for joining. Oh, my gosh. Brittany Blair. What up, boo boo? Who's Brittany Blair? Never heard of her. Stop. Never heard of her. Okay. Boo. She 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 like refuses to come on the show now. Megan Sonic is definitely bad habit. She's not even here. Okay. Where is she? <laughs> she she moved back. Did you not know she to moved Utah? back to Utah? Yeah. For what? Um. So <laughs> she moved back to Utah. I she, she got was a she got a great job offer there. Good and for so her. She there. Oh, and she's so, missed. Yeah, she's incredible. But uh, I'll I miss tell you her. what. I miss he, her so much. We're gonna uh, we'll we'll just play the uh, we'll play the Thanks, song. Adam. Okay, we'll play the song. Okay. All right, and then we'll uh, we'll dive into the video afterwards. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Here we go. Okay, John Mullins, better man. It's only human nature just to give up on somebody that you don't understand. I know you got a million reasons to let me go But now I'm asking for another chance We can make this work I would do anything for you I didn't know I was wrong Whatever I need to keep you up To be a better man for you
John Mullins. The first time Better Man has been played on radio. Man, wow. Thanks, Joey P. No, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate Heck your yeah. sound. Heck yeah. What's the, uh, I mean, I, I saw already you uploaded the video to YouTube. Mm -hmm. You already got hundreds of views just in a freaking couple hours. Okay. okay, that makes me a little jealous, but whatever. <laughs> it's not about me; it's about you. I think there's it's in the thousands on Facebook. Uh, I think. I'm, oh, I'm sure it is. I was just on the YouTube and the freaking Facebook, and the, you did your sample on the Instagrams. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't forget to follow this man on social media, okay? Because uh, as you can see, he's professional, he's polished, he's got a sound, he's got a mission. I just got a couple questions about that last song, if you don't mind. Of course. Okay, you you keep singing about the uh, the hard times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what are the hard times for you? Four years ago, my wife, Whitney, fell and uh, hit her head uh -huh. and uh, on concrete, and she knocked herself out. How, how'd she fall? She uh, slipped on liquid at work. Oh, no. And uh, she uh, she was a teacher, and the kids were in the room and everything like that, oh, so it was, no. it was weird. and It was rough. So she fell. Uh, we went and got her, and we were like, you know, took her home, or took her to the hospital, sorry. Uh -huh. And they were like, you know, you've got a slight concussion. It's fine. Uh, go ahead and go home. And that whatever. day they did scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, we're like, okay, this is fine. So she tries to go back back to work mm -hmm. that day, and she calls me and she's like, "You need to come get me. I I don't know what to do. I am having a panic attack mm -hmm. and I'm having anxiety and uh, I can't even function." So we I, we took her home, and uh, I'm gonna make a long story short. Um, she. Over time, she started losing speech and motor functions. She hit herself like, I can't remember if it's a light, right or left, but it's where it controls the speech, motor functions, uh, anxiety, um, like all these incredibly deep things. Yeah. And uh, so we went from me playing four shows a week and, you know, selling jewelry and her working as a teacher to me selling jewelry and... Whitney, you know, trying to heal at home, trying right. to, and we had doctors coming to the home. We had a therapist. What were the doctors therapist. saying? Um, the doctor, one of the doctors, the problem is we couldn't get the right answers hmm. and it was really difficult because with head, with head trauma or head injury, I, I feel like it's all, uh, it weight. It's like hurry up and wait and see what what gets better, and then past that, it's once it hits. I think he said thirteen or eighteen months. So how long was she physically and mentally disabled for? She was she she is still on a healing process. We say that she's eighty five percent recovered. She what? Still, she still suffers from. And how many years ago now? Four years four? ago. Four four years ago, and she um, she still suffers from extreme anxiety, and okay. it's something that we never understood beforehand it's right. something we never knew because she didn't suffer from it so developing that and then um you know she couldn't leave the house she couldn't be around people there were doctors coming to the house to try to help her with short-term memory loss they were trying to help her with a bunch of different things and so i went from you know playing four shows a week to making sure that we came home get medicines and do whatever we can and doctor's appointments and then you know wash rinse repeat and uh I would I would do it a thousand times over because that's what that's what a husband does. A husband any part takes of care of his wife. And, and any part of this time you're like, okay, I got to give up the music thing. Well, music, uh, music just as a natural thing just kind of took the back burner uh, because Whitney's my priority, of that's course, right. and she's my wife, and so uh, music kind of took the back burner a little bit, and uh, I was co-writing every once in a while, but I would work. I just work come home we would do what we need to do and wash rinse repeat and um about two and a half years after that everything all came to a head and i just was able to write it wasn't better man but i was able to write another song and it's the first song song i had penned by myself in um in two and a half years and so uh that was kind of the restart the rebirth the Ren a renaissance mm -hmm. of uh, music for me and so um, we were able to do that some incredible opportunities happen with uh, the company that Whitney they sells their clothing and and so uh, and Better Man was born right after I uh, wrote that one song by myself and then I was like you know what let's talk about like the nitty gritty of what happened and 
then we then better man was born <laughs> right because in that answers I, I guess that answers my question about when you're singing about giving up yeah so don't give up on me yeah there when Whitney started losing her speech and motor functions she also had extreme anxiety and imagine being like whatever your worst fear is like you whatever whatever would cause you to have a panic attack but you're not able to even talk mm -hmm. and put words together and be able to put sentence together for me it would be like being on a taking off airplane i have to take medicine to fly lord have mercy okay. but being on a taking off airplane i would have the worst panic and you can't even communicate what it is and so we lived for two years like that and she had a hard time communicating hard time putting words together a hard time uh, talking so we had to relearn how to communicate and sometimes when you're learning that you're like well is it me like am i what am i doing wrong and she would feel guilty she must have felt so frustrated too. It, it, she felt fl frustrated uh i felt she felt guilty there was mm -hmm. so like it was probably it was the hardest the hardest season of our lives and so it got to the point where I was like, I'm going to do every single thing I can to be what you need. And because I'm not giving up on this, right. this is not, this isn't, this isn't exactly what the bridge says. Just because it isn't exactly what we thought doesn't mean we need to give up. No, when something's not exactly what you thought, you work harder for it to be a better man, to be a better man. Now I get it. Yeah. I get your song. Yeah. I spoke too, too long about it, but I really hope you. No, I love it. <laughs> John, I appreciate your brother. Bay's asleep. Oh, no, see him? No, no, no. He was like, I'm done. Bay, just, just kidding. Any just questions kidding. for John? Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Thanks. That's what's up. I really appreciate it. No, I appreciate you coming on here. I'm sorry that the video didn't work out, but uh, I'll tell you what. Go watch the video. Yeah, go watch the video. Uh, on, on John Mullins Official on Facebook, okay? Go to johnmullins.com. That's John. The, the, the link is right in this live video feed, by the way, and, and in the iHeartRadio app. But, uh, yeah, click on that link and definitely go and check out the video. Yeah. Boom. 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 So when are you going to forget about us <laughs> after this gets picked up? I never forget about you guys. Now, now, what's the next step? I mean, does this get uh, – who pitches this to labels and what have you? Yeah, so the the whole – my friend – my best friend in the world was asking me this. Uh, my child, my childhood my childhood <laughs> best friend. Uh -huh. He was asking me, he's like, what – why? What, what do you want? to happen with this and uh what i want to happen with this is um i want this to be the snowball you build before you roll and make the snowman there you go and so what i'm hoping is that uh this is a great foundation for um for getting back for musicians period needing to get back on their feet from this whole thing and i want to come out of the gate strong I also want to give my fan, Malie, yeah, you know, something something incredible that they can hold on to. And uh, within the next month and a half to two months, fingers crossed, if everything goes well, you'll be hearing another single from me. Let me tell you. I mean, it, so. it, the timing is perfect. Thank you. There really is. You got your foundation fan base built. Yeah. And it's large numbers, and it keeps growing with product like this and stories like this. And not just putting out songs, but putting out lyrics that mean something that is impressive thanks to ip oh i love it and the best is yet to come thank you don't oh, forget about it i can't <laughs> john mullins dot com thank you guys Definitely thank fun. you for having me on here joey i oh, forget about it i can't i won't i, won't. I promise we're whispering to each other <laughs> I wonder why my mom follows me on Instagram. She's <laughs> trying to keep tabs on me. Uh, you got to get me a wife soon, man. Dude, we'll mm. work on it. Promise. Okay, I need to find a wife like yours. Uh, yeah. Okay. She has a sister. Oh, she's married. Moving on. How's the marriage? Is it rocky? Rocking. It's rocking. It's hey, nice. yo. It's, it's a good marriage. It's rocky. It's a good marriage. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Adrian. Marriage ain't going so well. Sorry. Ziggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up next, who really is the preacher man named John Lockwood that is running against five other candidates? D did you hear me? Five other candidates. That's six total candidates that are running for city council Ward 12. It's crazy. Well, he's got a mission. He's got a story. Let's hear it. That's coming up next on the Joe Padula Show, where Clarksville goes to party with a purpose. Absolutely. This is Casey Bryant with Local Clarksville. Don't forget to download our app to find local places to eat, shop, and play. You're listening to The Joe Padula Show. Absolutely.